Welcome back to Savannah's. We are live this evening from Whitefield in Manchester for the latest of the Town Pool Shootout Series. And we have one semi final lineup complete. What a performance that was from Patty McCarran. And we have two quarter finals still to see. So let's get the next two players out. Introducing one of the best players around. A big winner versus Mick Folan this afternoon in the last 16 years. Quite simply, the legend. He's Martin McIntosh. How did that girl even get in here? Do you see her? She's so short and that dress is so tacky. Who wears a cheetah? It's not even summer. Why did DJ keep on playing summertime sadness? After the bathroom, can we go smoke a cigarette? I really need one. But first, let me take a selfie. Selfie, 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 selfie. Let me take a 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 selfie. Selfie, selfie. Let me take a selfie. Let me take a selfie. Let me take a selfie. And his opponent, winner of the three first events of this town shootout series, and the favourite still standing in this draw, he is the Welsh wizard, he's Jordan Sh Well, I've seen matches shorter than that walk-on <laughs> from Martin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least he doesn't milk it. <laughs> the self-proclaimed legend. Make of that what you will. Yeah. Did play very well earlier, Martin, in his first match against... Uh, against Mick Folan. He, um, he solid performance, I think. Um, I don't think Mick played very well at all though, so did really sort of take the pressure off Martin. And to be brutally honest, if this was a race to 10 in a regular sort of tournament conditions, Jordan is a, is a huge favorite in my opinion, a huge favorite. Um, being, a, being a race to five, this short format, um, it is a bit of a leveler. Uh, gives Martin maybe more of a chance, but then you could argue that, you know, this format kind of, well, the, the speed of it really does suit Jordan Shepard. So we'll see how it goes. It's uh, a good start from, from Martin. He's in. Um, not a really easy finish, but 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 they're on. He's a couple of uh, good positional shots, and I think that was his first bad one. He's run out of position there. And the crowd still shouting for Kian Monaghan, but he's gone. Yeah, and it's a, it's a poor mistake from Martin. Uh, the shot before he's run out of position to leave himself in that in that state in the first place, really. Did see a hell of a swerve. We saw a swerve earlier for Martin. Probably shot of the day so far. It's a great shot on the black. Well, he did well to keep the white out there, but the yellow stayed out too. It's not a bad result either. This is a shot you're uh, talking about. 
earlier on today. Brilliant moment of magic. possible outcome for for Martin because Jordan Shepard's one bad red on that left hand side cushion he's brought that out in that shot and uh, opened the frame completely up for Jordan now did Jordan just shake his head there I think he was trying to pop both both reds just so he didn't have to come back down table Not the best either. Bit of early match nerves. A little bit loose with his cue ball. He's just running slightly more out of position with each shot. Jordan and his first frames are so crucial in this short format. I think that's a great shot. That is a superb shot. Yeah, that's a beauty. All of a sudden, the frame in his hands. Really accomplished snooker player as well, Jordan Shepherd. He, um, I played him, funny enough, in this club actually uh, about a couple of years ago. We were having a knockabout in between matches in a, in a tournament, and um, he was on ten reds, ten blacks. Wow. He was on for a one four seven, yeah, and. Um, he is a machine. He is really, really good. He's Ryan Day's cousin. Ah. Yeah. Interesting you see there. He looks over his glasses. Not a happy bunny. No. I won't be feeling like a legend at the moment. Another big break. It's a huge break. Huge break and we'll see him go yellows here. And he'll want to leave the yellow closest to that right middle as his last ball if possible and leave himself a black down the cushion for the frame. Oh, and that's, that is, that's as bad as that could have gone. Fortunately, he is on the plant here, but it's a, it's, a, it's a bad lapse in concentration, really. That wasn't that difficult for Jordan. Not the sort of mistake you normally see him make. Oh, he's knocked it in nicely, but... I don't know if he's on it. He had to pay the price of position. He's because not, Because of no. the increased difficulty on the shot. Did you, another one wears his heart on his sleeve as well. It, you'll soon know if he's not happy. If he'd have got that first shot right, as he played this off of the red, that's oh. unbelievable. <laughs> oh. That is brilliant. Well, for me, that's up, that's up there with, uh, with Martin's shot oh, of the day. Super. Even to think of it. Difficulty to execute that. I tell you, the difficulty to execute that as well, to hit that at that pace in that middle pocket. Well, and two, two difficult balls to go. Well, what a clearance. His box office. Right it's incredible. Middle. Even that shot, he's played that with rakes and rakes of side to, to, to straighten the cue ball up just to even give himself a shot on the black. Well, this is dish it's of the brilliant. day. Absolutely. Absolutely brilliant. Wonderful. From the Welsh Wizards.
Straighten off as well, almost like a, frust a bit of a frustrated break there. He just got down and hit him, really. He didn't really sort of seem to give that as much care as he did his first break. It's almost as if he's still got the hump that somehow Jordan's managed to clear from there. I don't blame him. Winner of this will play the winner of the, uh, the final quarter final, which is on the way next. It's a good looking one, Craig Lakin and Mark Boyle toe to toe. There's Mark. See Mark in the background there with his wife. Number one fan. So Jordan's just eyeing up the plant here. He's gonna he's gonna try and leave himself this after. Oh no. That's a very clever shot. A very clever shot. Would have liked the white to have come out a bit more, but he has still got this red at the top right-hand corner of the table. Uh, it's just the white's going a bit away from where he'd like to, so might might see him play this with drag. And we have. He is a pleasure to watch when he's uh, in full flow, Jordan Shepherd. Makes the game look so easy. But he's also got that bit of class about him. He's, you know, he is one of your top five to ten players on the planet. He's not just someone that suits this shootout because of his because of his speed of play and the, and, and his attacking style. He is proper world class. So to get that combination, it's a, it's a bit of a treat for you guys watching this at home. The control the and the cue ball is is a joy to watch. And just like that, it's three nil. Big Ooh. break from Jordan. Just got He's made a ball. Not the easiest to finish is we might see Jordan play the red onto the yellow. Maybe not. Oh, if he can get through, that's a great shot. Now he's left himself the perfect angle to play this red into the right middle. Top and right hand side spin and attack this red at the top of the table. Oh, wow, that's unlucky. He might have an angle, you know. To, he might have the perfect angle to play this into the bottom right corner and yeah, he straight back up into his bad ball. Oh, he's not missing, is he? I'd like to see where he's going to put this one, though. Bo bottom right corner pocket. That's Probably go for it. It's another just ridiculous clearance if he gets these. He has gone for it, not this time. He's missed it. So, Martin, here's your chance. Time's on his side. One of the things about playing Jordan Shepard, you go 3-0 down. I mean, he's still got 18 minutes left in this match, so... But make no mistake, if you don't get these, it's, it's, it's match over, really. It's nicely controlled. First of the two bad yellows, the one on each side cushion.
He's just over screwed that. He's, he's not going to be able to get as close to this yellow as he wanted to now. Yeah, and that's... This can be tricky. This can be tricky. If he'd have just played the, the shot, it was two shots ago, he screwed up table and he really didn't... He went miles too far up table. Some oh. has dropped. Oh. Out Thought about dropped. it. Pocket weight. Well played. Well, yeah, hats off, Martin. You've kept yourself in there and uh, you've still got 15 minutes left in this match. So. Good break, good connection, he's made a ball. At first glance, the reds look really nice. Oh, much nicer than the yellows anyway. Yeah, these matches can turn, you know, if he does get these and Jordan breaks, breaks dry in the next one. Well, you know, really, we, we could be tied at three each in, in, in five minutes time. Well, you said we've not had a single comeback today. Is this the first? Could be the first, yeah, it was three nil. Martin probably at 3-0 down and Jordan looking like clearing off the lampshades probably resigned himself to defeat. All of a sudden he's back in. Only 3-1 down and hand on the table. Trusted a little bit to look with that cannon but he's fine. Yeah, that's not great. He's under hit that by... You can tell by his reaction. A foot and a half. No, just doesn't look confident out there. Looks I intimidated, if anything, by Jordan. A lot of people are, especially in this format. Fifteen second shot clock. Now we're going to see Jordan leave himself an angle. I don't think he can now to play the middle of the three reds at the top, at yellows in the top right corner, and leave himself an angle to screw up and dislodge the the yellow that's just above the middle pocket. I don't know if he can dig into it quite enough. Oh, he's missed it. No, he that was what he was playing, but he's took his eye off the pot and Martin's back in again. Not easy, though. Very excited, very into that. Yeah, there's white balls all over the place at the moment. He, he, I think he just needs to tell himself he's, he's got quite a bit of time in this. Sort of 14 minutes to get back into this match. Oh. I think that was good. I think that was just about all right. Yeah. He's actually played a really good shot as well, Martin. It's a really good shot. He's left himself the perfect angle to get across for there. He was about to walk around the table and have a look, and then the, he heard the clock ticking. He realised he didn't have time. So yeah. he just got down and played it. Yeah, there's only a minute and a half ago that the shot clock went down to 15 seconds. Man, that's Ooh. just wide. That's just wide, and that is 4-1. Oh, concession. concession. Oh, wow, white right off the table. Yeah, no shortage of adrenaline in that, was there? That was his chance to uh, to seal the match. It's the thing here, Martin was on a clearance which wasn't that difficult, and, you know, had he got those, all of a sudden, Jordan goes, jumps the white right off the table, and this would have been for three each. But even there, Martin's left himself 
kind of in the middle, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. It's time pressure now at 4 1. 12 minutes left. Maybe not having time to think about it might help him just get down and play now. Because this has been a very, very swift response. Again, has he just gone too far there? Is that a bit careless? So, that's fine, Troy. Absolutely fine. Good finish. 4 1 becomes 4 2, and he's still alive just. Martin still. McIntosh. Still. Can't afford a single mistake now. There's still plenty of time as well. What, 10 minutes? Do we have, I think? Yeah, over that. I think it was 12, wasn't it, when that went in? Yeah. Got... Plenty of time. Break and finish here from Martin makes this really interesting. Can he get a ball? No, he's got a ball, but it's the white ball. 11 minutes left, but with that outcome, I'm not sure we'll play out those 11. Needs to make sure of this, Jordan. He's, um, it's all about the angle that he leaves himself on the red closest to the black. Wants to be fairly straight in so he can leave the white ideally just to the right of where the red is now. He's played that really well. I think we might just see him play a, a cannon into the yellow. And if he gets that, that goes well. Well, that'll do. I think he's all right, yeah. All the winners All right. coming from the bottom half of the draw. 5-0, 5-2. And another 5-2 victory in favour of a big favourite now for this tournament, Jordan Shepherd. Some real class in there. And he is through, the third man through to the semi-finals, beating Martin McIntosh 5-2. He'll play either Craig Lakin or Mark Boyle, who meets in the final quarter-final. And that's next. <laughs>